Now I am going to decrypt a journal passage based on Progressive Shorthand Magazine, December 2023, exercise 4 at the rate of 100 words per minute. Let's start. Whoever it is, whatever party it is, anybody with some criminal record or who is under trial in a court of law or is convicted by a court of law or whatever it is that person may be debarred from entering any party and all the parties should make it a point not to award any membership to such persons but unfortunately the political parties are encouraging criminal elements and at the same time several youth organizations which are there in every district in every town also draw inspiration from elders in the criminalization of politics i would like to add another thing with regard to the press and the media unfortunately in every election the press goes on analyzing for one month or one month and 15 days. This time the elections were announced about three months ahead of schedule. But all these three months, all the newspapers gave analysis stating there that are seven assembly segments in the parliamentary constituency and in all the seven assembly segments female voters are more than the male voters and agricultural laborers are more than the agriculturists in the last elections in this constituency show and show won the elections but he was defeated in 1971 and again such and such parties took part in the elections in 1977. So many people contested against each other and ultimately that fellow won. but in their enthusiasm, the newspapers and the media, they are going a little bit further in analyzing that in this assembly segment the number of origin voters is such the number of ready voters is such and the number of comma voters or naidu voters is such like that they are going to analyze the facts and the position of the votes in that particular segment that is giving rise to much communal tension and caste tension slowly. They are influencing the minds of political workers saying unless you go on the lines of caste it is not desirable for the efficient functioning of democracy. This is very dangerous for the unity of the country now i would like to appeal to the media as well as my journalist friends to see that such thing is avoided such reporting is avoided such analysis in the press during electioneering is avoided on caste lines and communal lines unless it is done i am very much afraid that we are heading from bad to worse as far as money power is concerned said every member of parliament every member of legislature starts this career by a false declaration stop thanks